Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to the Daily Comic and Collectible, episode 621. Now today, the collectible of the day is the Hasbro Toys, Marvel Legends series, Maidens of Might, All Father Build-A-Figure Wave, Scarlet Witch Action Figure. The mighty heroine, who commands cosmic energy, is on a mission to save Earth from evil. This awesome Maidens of Might figure will use her hex powers to launch attacks on her foes. This 6-inch scale Marvel Legends Infinite series Scarlet Witch action figure is from the Maidens of Might line and was inspired directly from the character in the Marvel Comics series. This 112 scale action figure features intricate detail and hand-painted deco with an exquisite head sculpt that makes this an excellent addition to your Marvel collection. Wanda Maximoff comes with extensive articulation for advanced posing and display, much better than the vintage Toy Biz Toys version. This is also part of the All-Father Build-A-Figure Wave. You can collect the set to create your own All-Father Odin or King Thor action figures. The Scarlet Witch comes in a collector's friendly window display box and was released in 2014 by Hasbro Toys. Now, the comic of the day is Marvel Team Up, Volume 1, Issue Number 130, with the cover date of June 1983. This team up features Spider Man and the Scarlet Witch, with story by J.M. DeMatisse. Art by Sal Bushima, and cover by John Ramita Jr. This issue is titled, Till Death Do Us Part. The story opens in Leonia, New Jersey. The Scarlet Witch wakes up in her bed screaming. Once she's fully awake, she notices that her husband, the Vision, is not in bed with her and begins looking around the house for him. The Vision returns home shortly after, and comforts his troubled wife. She tells him that she had a horrible dream where someone attacked him. When the attacker stepped out of the shadows, she was shocked to discover that it was herself. The vision assures her that it was only a dream and suggests they go for a walk to ease her mind. However, once they are outside, Wanda notices the shadows are reaching to her. Despite her efforts to ward off these specters with her hex bolts, she is enveloped in darkness. She's pulled into a formless realm, where she is mocked by the man who appears to be her husband. However, it's not the vision at all. The attacker suddenly changes back to his true form, that of the sorcerer known as Necrodamus. Meanwhile, the real vision is out of New Hampshire with Spider-Man following their clash with the android known as Alpha. Spider-Man is coming around and is filled in on what happened by the Vision and Daily Bugle reporter Arthur Ponchalito. Ponchalito is surprised that Spider-Man knows him by name. The wall crawler explains that he keeps track of the Daily Bugle reporters since they write so many negative stories about him. As he leaves, Arthur mentions that he lost track of his photographer, Peter Parker and asks the wall crawler to tell him that he finally found that big story he needs to make before he retires. As Spider-Man swings away, he realizes that Arthur has figured out his double identity and tries to figure out what to do next. Suddenly, bolts of lightning come out of the sky and begin striking near Arthur and the Vision. Spider-Man swings back and pulls Ponchalito to safety. The Vision tells Spider-Man turn his attention to the sky, where they see Necrodamus holding the unconscious body of the Scarlet Witch. The Vision demands to know what the mystic has done to his wife. Necrodamus explains that he's the practitioner of the dark arts and loyal to the dark gods. He recounts his past failures against the Defenders, as well as the time that the Scarlet Witch bested him with their powers. He explains, during the last encounter, his body was lost in a mystical void until recently. He has now decided to take revenge against the Scarlet Witch 
by taking a new body, that of the witch's husband, the Vision. When Spider-Man and the Vision are prepared to attack, Necrodamus encases the Scarlet Witch in a mystical green sphere that will destroy her if the Vision doesn't surrender. Spider-Man tries to attack the evil sorcerer, but his blows do nothing. With no apparent way to stop their foe, the Vision surrenders himself to Necrodamus in order to save the life of his wife. Necrodamus then casts a spell that transfers his life essence into the Vision's android body, causing his frail form to fall to the ground. With the transfer complete, Necrodamus frees the Scarlet Witch as she's of no use to him any longer. He then uses the Vision's heat rays to incinerate his old body, having no use for it either. Thinking that Necrodamus murdered the Vision, Spider-Man lashes out at him, but the density of the Vision's body is strong enough to withstand the wall crawler's blows. Making himself intangible, Necrodamus rams his fist through Spider-Man's chest, knocking him out again. With his foe defeated, Necrodamus flies into the air, seeking to take over the entire world. Shortly, when both Spider-Man and the Scarlet Witch revive, everything is explained to the Witch. Upon learning what happened, Wanda grimly tells Spider-Man and Arthur that the only way to stop Necrodamus is to destroy the Vision's body. Meanwhile, Necrodamus has flown to the city of Concord, where he uses the Vision's body to go on a rampage to test out his new abilities. The authorities are no match for Necrodamus, who easily bats them aside. Soon, Spider-Man and the Scarlet Witch arrive, along with Arthur in his car. Seeing the carnage unfolding, Spider-Man asks if there's no other way to stop Necrodamus. However, the Scarlet Witch doesn't believe so. As Wanda gets out of the car, Arthur makes a veiled threat about revealing Spider-Man's double identity. The wall crawler can't believe that Arthur could be so cold-hearted when lives are at stake. The web slinger joins the Scarlet Witch, and while she distracts the Vision with a hex bolt, Spider-Man goes in with fists flying. As the battle rages, Arthur watches from the sidelines. Spotting a small dog in danger, Arthur selflessly grabs the dog and carries it to safety. By this point, Necrodamus has overpowered Spider-Man and is about to kill him. Seeing this, Arthur calls out to Wanda to do something. She's frozen in place, at odds with the idea of destroying the body of her husband. But ultimately, she unleashes a powerful hex bolt. It strikes Necrodamus, and he falls to the ground shrieking. However, this is only a ruse to allow Scarlet Witch to get close enough for him to grab her by the throat. However, he cannot bring himself to kill the witch. Arthur realizes what is going on and tells Necrodamus that the Vision's mind is still inside his body and is fighting his influence. Spider-Man manages to get up and begins attacking Necrodamus again. This time, the sorcerer's essence is forced out of the Vision's body. The only form nearby is that of the little dog but Necrodamus refuses to live his life in such a small body, and his essence dissipates into nothingness. While the Vision and the Scarlet Witch have a happy reunion, Spider-Man wonders what he will do about Arthur Ponchalito. Later, back in New York, Peter Parker pays a visit to Arthur and finds him packing a bag. Arthur explains that he filed his last two stories with the Bugle and is taking his vacation time until he retires. When Peter asks him about the big story that he was going to publish before he retires, Arthur tells Peter that after seeing Spider-Man in action, he realizes that the world needs a hero like him, before he needs a Pulitzer Prize. With that out of the way, Peter sees Arthur out and offers to buy him a drink. This story is continued in Marvel Team-Up. Issue number 131. Geek Fact. The Vision is a Synthesoid, a highly advanced artificial man constructed by the evil Ultron, an anti-human robot to be used as an instrument of revenge against his adversaries. The Vision was endowed with the power to control his own density, ranging from becoming ethereal 
to be a resilient as diamond and to absorb and redirect solar energy. Having rebelled against his creator, the Vision has become one of the most dedicated and leading members of the Avengers. Bonus Geek Fact Necrodomus was born with a shriveled body, so he turned to black magic to gain the power his physical form lacked. He learned that through the sacrifice of innocence, he could gain godlike powers. During his first known attempt to do this, Necrodomus tried to sacrifice the Submariner to the Nameless One. When the stars were in a certain alignment, Necrodomus was defeated in this plot by the Defenders, who were able to delay him until the alignment was over. He transformed back into his shriveled husk of a man. When he tried to perform similar sacrifices in the surface world among the air breathers, he was defeated by the Scarlet Witch, who swept his soul into limbo. After this story, Necrodomus spent many more years in limbo, lost, until the demonic masters of limbo unleashed a demon invasion on Manhattan in the Inferno storyline. This gave Necrodomus back his bearings and a way back to Earth. Following the Scarlet Witch's death and resurrection, Necrodomus met with Agatha Harkness in New Salem. He hoped to collaborate with her to steal the Scarlet Witch's powers related to Cthon. But she instead had her zombies kill him in order to ensure her former student's safety. This happened in the Scarlet Witch Annual, Volume 1, Issue Number 1, from August of 2023. State of the art gaming. Tootin' Kong. The home video game you've waited 3,000 years for. Tootin' Kong is the video game where you race through a pyramid to find touch treasure. The game where you're attacked by the fiendish guardians of the tomb and you fight back with your laser guns. You capture the keys to the treasure room and then the treasure is yours. All the action of the hit arcade game is coming to your Atari or Sears home video system. Only from Parker Brothers, of course. The one to beat. And final geek fact. Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch, is a Romani sorceress and twin sister of the speedster Quicksilver. Once believed to have been mutant children of Magneto, the twins are in truth orphans enhanced by the high evolutionary of Mount Wondagore in Transia. The Scarlet Witch became a conduit of chaos magic, allowing her to shift probability and warp reality itself by casting various hexes. As an Avenger, Maximoff fell in love with and married her synthesoid teammate, the Vision. In order to have a family with her artificial husband, she used her abilities to conceive two twin boys, Speed and Wiccan. But the spell was later broken, erasing both boys from existence, a tragedy that was accompanied by her husband being dismantled. The trauma of losing her family made her mentally vulnerable. After she attacked the Avengers twice, the group disassembled. Subsequently, in a major erratic display of her powers, the Scarlet Witch reshaped reality under the rule of the House of M, based on Magneto's wishes. As the Avengers and the X-Men battled to restore reality, she uttered the words, No more mutants, wiping out the super abilities of most mutants in retaliation to Magneto's extremism. This action became known as the Mutant Decimation. For years, after a long way to rejoin the Avengers, the Scarlet Witch has been haunted by her actions in a journey for redemption, which culminated in the creation of the Waiting Room to revive lost mutants. More recently, she found herself dealing with the threat of Cthone once again by getting into contact with the cursed Tome the Darkhold. Moreover, she currently runs the Emporium, a witchcraft shop aimed at assisting those in need of help. And she's also a main member of the new Avengers team. Well, I'd like to thank you for joining me for another Daily Comic and Collectible, and I hope to see you again Wednesday. This is Cat Fan Comics Man, and I'll catch you on the flip. Over and out. Out.